guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to start priming my eyelids like always using the mac soft ochre paint pot and the palette i'm playing with today is the morphe 15d palette today i really didn't know what palette to use but i haven't used this one yet and the shades are so gorgeous these are all pretty warm brown shade which i love so i wanted to give it a go and i'm going to use this light brown shade and i'm going to blend it all over in my crease going back and forth and I'm using a Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush, which is currently one of my favorites for blending in the crease. Then I'm going to use the orange shade, which is the most orange shade in the palette. And I'm going to use the same brush by Anastasia and I'm going to blend it in my crease as well. I felt like the texture of these eyeshadows is very different than the other eyeshadow palettes by Morphe. Like for example, the 35 palettes. Um, they're a little bit more soft and light. The shades don't turn out really dark, but they're really easy to blend. I just wanted to mention that I felt like the texture is a bit different than normally. So now I'm going in with this brown shade and I'm going to blend it in my crease. But I'm focusing a little bit more in the outer V area because I wanted it to be a bit darker. But the shade didn't really turn out as dark as I wanted. So that's why I'm also going in with this dark shade and applying this a little bit in my outer V. So like I said, the shades don't turn as dark as it shows in the palette. It's not like it doesn't have pigment. It's just, I don't, I can't really describe it. But if you have like a hard time with blending eyeshadows, this palette is really easy to blend out. And it's kind of hard to go wrong with it because it's so easy to use. So that's definitely a plus. But if you're searching for a palette with very dark shades, then this might not be the palette for you because the shades just turn out way lighter. It might have something to do with the brushes I used, I have no idea. But you can see that my outer V is darker right now, but still not as dark as the shade that I used show in the palette. So I have no idea. It's a little bit weird, but I also uh, noticed this with the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. But I guess this has something to do with how soft the eyeshadows are. And yeah, I'm not sure if I can complain about that because they're so easy to blend. But right now you see me applying some concealer all over my eyelid. And I'm going to create a winged end. And I forgot to mention, but the shadow shields that you see me using, they're from my brand Anytude. Um, they're called eyeshadow guards on your website. They are around $4, I believe. Um, so if you're curious where you can get them, you can get them at anytude.com, but I will mention it in the description bar together with all the details on which products I used. So right now I'm using a matte white eyeshadow and the palette didn't really contain a very light matte shade. So I just grabbed a single eyeshadow, which is the Makeup Geek White Lies, and I just pressed this on the beginning of my eyelid. Then I'm going back in with the light brown shade, which I also used at the beginning in my crease. And I'm going to press this in the middle part area and I'm going slightly a little, little bit on top of the white eyeshadow to make these shades blend into each other. And for this I'm using my all time favorite brush, the more I wanted to say Morphe, I mean the MAC 242 brush. It's so nice for applying eyeshadows. So now I'm going back in with that pretty orangey shade and I'm going to apply this in my uh, in my. What is wrong with me? In the middle part of my eyelid and a little bit more towards the outer V. And once again, I'm also pressing this on top of the light brown shade, which I applied before this step to make the eyeshadows blend into each other. So don't be afraid to apply shades on top of each other. It only makes it look better. Now I'm going to apply some MAC Mixing Medium Gel and I'm going to apply this on the eyelid. And this is because I'm going to apply glitter and the first shade I'm going in with is the RXI Gold Dust Glitter. But first I softly apply a little bit of that MAC Mixing Medium Gel on the places where I want the glitter to be. It's basically like how I would do my eyeliner but the texture is invisible. Um, I don't really know how to explain but of course like I want to do a glitter eyeliner and I want the line to be sharp. So that's why I applied the... MAC Mixing Medium Gel in a small stroke and now you can see that the eyeliner, the glitter, also applies um, in a stroke, like I would do my eyeliner. So now this is the next shade and I'm going to apply this in the middle part. I did this exactly the same way as I did with the other glitter and I'm also going to apply it a little bit on top of the gold glitter 
to make it blend into each other. I did a similar video a few months back, which is more of a natural version of this eye look. I will link it in this video in case you are a little bit scared to do a cut crease, but you still want to do the eyeliner. So now I'm going in with the Inglot black eyeliner and I'm going to create my wing. I want the eyeliner to be um, like a ombre from light glitter to dark glitter. And to make the outer end of my wing a bit more intense, I wanted to use some gel eyeliner. And um, yeah, that's basically why. <laughs> this is not necessary, but because I'm applying this right now, it will also count as a guide to like get it extra sharp. Because if you go straight in with a darker glitter, it's really hard to like get that sharp end. So I would like recommend to first apply this eyeliner if you want a really sharp edge, like I did. <laughs> so I also filled in a little bit of that wing to make it even more darker. And then I'm going in with the RXI glitter in the shade Bronze, which is a very dark brown glitter. So pretty, it has a gold reflex. And I used this with some of the MAC Mixing Medium Gel and pressing this on top of my wing. Now for my wand line, I'm going to use some of the John to Blue Black Eye Pencil and I'm just going back and forth until I found it black enough. Also, I'm applying a little bit underneath my upper lashes to make it black over there as well. I just feel like this looks better, especially when you apply fake eyelashes. It just looks more black overall. And then to um, make my lower lashes extra black, I'm going to use some matte black eyeshadow, which is just a single eyeshadow. The Morphe palette doesn't contain a black eyeshadow, but I think everyone owns a black eyeshadow. And I apply this underneath the lower lash line. Now I use the Morphe palette again and I'm using that bright orange shade and I'm going to blend that underneath my lower lash line to blend that, that black eyeshadow. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M506 brush. Now for my mascara I use the De Balm Matte Lash Mascara and for my eyelashes I use my Anytude Fluffy Lashes. I have a special discount code which I will mention in the description bar. And here you have the end result. I really hope you enjoy watching this video and that you like the outcome of the look. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That would be so sweet. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I think this look is really nice for the holidays. But if you find the cut crease too dramatic, if you just don't feel comfortable doing a cut crease, I will link a different video in this video, uh, which is more of a natural version, but still has this glittery ombre cut, cat wing. But yeah, let me know if you're going to recreate this or if you're going to slay this for Christmas or New Year's Eve. Let me know in the comments and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys! Tripping on your pale eyes Me and you forever